place for a young girl to work, eh? <laughs> Julia, I'm sorry I'm late. Put this on Jennifer Burns' desk. It's her lunch. She's the gourmet. Jennifer's lunch? I'm only ten minutes late already. I don't know. Morning, sir. Who did you want to see? Ah, oh, morning, General. Just tell your superior officer I'm here, will you? A comedian, eh? How would you like your teeth knocked out of that your throat? Hey, hey, miss! Hey! Sir! Oh, really, there's no need to be so aggressive. Aggressive? I've come to... Who's being aggressive? Hey, oh, what? Say that once again and I'll break every bone in your body. Hello, hello. Good morning, Miss Julia. I had to talk to that girl there, please. You can't make up your mind, can you? I can't. First no, you want to come in, then you want, want to go to out. Right, there you go then. Ah! Oh. oh, it's your Gestapo doorman. Look, don't move. I've had medical training. Any bones broken? Oh. Hey. Can I give you the kiss of life? Would you like one of my kidneys? Maybe my heart? No, thanks. I'll let you know when I'd like one of your organs. Hey! Hey, wait! Hey, wait a minute! Hey, wait a minute! Wait! Hey, hey, wait! Hey! Will you... Wait a minute! Hey, wait! Hey, look. Hey, look, I have to talk to you. Oh, I know oh, you're a big time hooker and all that, but listen to me. What? I saw you come out of your Swiss office. Yeah? I mean, but I have a big club, you know. It's out of town and very exclusive. Is that so? So yeah. how come they didn't know you at the agency? Well, the thing is, I normally book top variety acts or singers like Andy Williams, Sammy oh. Davis Jr. Sinatra's been on the phone all morning begging me for an audition. Really? What did you tell him? I turned him down. I'm not interested in mere money. Now, I'd like to give a bit of rock and roll a chance at my club. And that's where you can help me, you see? Do you know any top comedians by any chance? Do I know? Name one. Tommy Cooper. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's very good, really, you know. Do you think so? Even if Julia does find us a top act, we might lose our license. Look at this mess. I hate untidiness. Clean up here and in Sound City, Mr. Nugget. Your business papers is your responsibility. Look, besides, you haven't paid me for five months. Well, there's no necessity to be so abusive. Rodney, have you checked those rat traps? What? <coughs> what? Yes, Uncle Matt. I, I just go and have a look at them. Rodney, they couldn't tell the difference if you played it with your elbows. Oh, Rodney, darling, are you all right? <laughs> Bloody disgusting. I never see such filth. All my life I've been surrounded by incompetence. Hey, I tell you what, I've got an uncle who's got this big club. And his talent book has let him down. Now, you help me find him a top comedian. And I'll show you all the big rock and roll groups. Agreed? Hey, agreed. Great. Uh, don't kiss your business partners. Oh, I would if they all looked like you, I tell you. <laughs> Bye. Hey, wait a minute. You mean after years of searching, now I've found you, you you're just going to go? Have to. I've got an appointment and I'm late now. Look, look, I'll see you after work tonight, eh? Come on. All right. Bye. Uh, sorry, can you say that again? I'm sorry I'm late. I was held up. 
Well, that's okay. Thank you. Have you got your cans? Yes, thank you. Okay, here we go. Roll the tape, Bob. This is uh, Julia Forrester, Smile on My Face, vocal. place lacks style. Perhaps it needs something to give it a touch of class. <coughs> You're a real drawback, Rodney. All those years at the Imperial College of Music. What a waste. You're a bloody failure. Well, I was sending my grant back to help support you, Uncle Max. No excuses, boy. Do you think a little bit of poverty and starvation discouraged Beethoven or Fats Waller? That's it! If only you were a Negro, Rodney. That might give the place a little bit of West End class. I'm just a lonesome chocolate-colored king. Singing a lonesome old dog. Under these deaths, largely watermelon moon. Underneath that old... Tap dance, you know. Really? Mm. Had to give it up though. Kept falling in the sink. <laughs> Hey, 
guess what? Somebody pitch your parking space again? Wrong. Oh, no. I can see it in your face. Despair. What? Failure. No groups. Look, Flip, I've oh. succeeded. Really, mate? I always knew you would, Gary. <laughs> Look, I met this fantastic girl. She made all my skin tingle and my stomach felt funny inside. I mean, is that love? It could be. Wait a minute. What did you have for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> Look, she knows all the top groups. She's going to get one for us. We can't lose. Old Gap Toots on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, mm. what are this lot here like? Rubbish. Master Bun, the baker's son. Not at home. Have you got Mrs. Chips, the carpenter's wife? Can't, can't even win at this. I never used to lose at games of skill. And Julie hasn't phoned yet. You might just as well board the place up and troop down to the labour exchange. <laughs> more of your pills, otherwise you'll have one of your funny turns. Not that we couldn't do with a funny turn around here. Oh, Mr. Nucky, it's so romantical. I've just been cleaning next door, and you know that nice Mr. Gary? Nice? He's practically a homicidal maniac. Oh, don't be like that, Mr. Nugget. I think he's in love. Love? 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 Well, with a bit of luck, they'll form a suicide pack. Oh, I don't think so, Mr Nugget. I believe she's going to help him find some rock groups. What? The trucks will be moving out at 40 to 100 hours, so that means I want you to position at 350 at the latest. Now, the first one to go is their leader. OK, boss, that's a good idea. After that, I'll personally break the other guy's fingers. <coughs> I've never played the piano again. Yeah, yeah. And you know what you can do to the girls. <laughs> and so ends another episode of our serialization of My Chicago Boyhood by Donny Itchifinger Oswald. The Nath and you. They will double their age. So, when are we going to get all these fantastic groups then? Hey, soon. I'm going back to London to see this girl after work tonight. She's going to take me to see all the top gigs. Bunny, go and get the car. We'll follow that pestering pansy and see what he's up to. Very well, Uncle. Great, but wait till you hear these boys. Yeah, do it.
There, there, old girl. Be a good chap. No waterworks, mind. We'll be back. So keep your pecker up and don't drop your bundle. And remember, if the worst happens, there's a corner of a foreign field. Nugget. Candlelight room, yeah? Uncle Max, it's all working out. I've met this lovely fella. Well, that may solve your problem, but what about mine? Oh, really? He's well connected. He knows all the big comedians. He'll get you a super act. I say, spiffing. <laughs> Gotta go. I'll call you back. Come on, Rodney. <laughs> you take the controls, Rodney, old boy, and I'll navigate. <laughs> all right, Uncle Max. Where would you like me to take the controls? Mm -hmm. I'm following you. Give me all your fun, Roger. We can't afford to Don't do worry. Be faster, you're no need. It's essential we remain as inconspicuous as possible, Uncle. Oh, Roger. Rodney, my name is Rodney. That's all we need. <laughs> Can't you do something to go faster? Here, what are you doing? Ah, ah, what are you doing? I'm adjusting the mirror. What are you doing? Leave the wheel alone. It's, on, get hands it's on automatic, for God's sake. Keep driving. Leave the navigator to me. I know this district like the back of my hand.
my sugar candy love. 